Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa Demar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's time now for a look list in local sports and sports. High school basketball season's underway, and the Jackets off to a nice start in boys and girls basketball. Last game, a win over Applin County on Tuesday. The varsity boys team will be over in Long County Friday night. Take on the Blue Tie for more on the boys' start and the team. We talked with head coach Lemetrius Ray. Oh, we we started out um, real solid. We played a whole. We played some good teams. We went to Grove, played a good Grove team. We played a good Brantley team. And what we were more impressed about is our young guys. We started a freshman that night. We got two freshmen on the team this year, and we also had like six sophomores playing. And without the football players that came, they learned some of these guys went straight from playing ninth grade last year to no JV and playing on the varsity level, and they came out and showed out. So we were very impressed with our young guys. Now you got the football players back uh, the weekend, Friday and Saturday. Just came out for a big win over in Baxley, so team's off to a good start. Oh, yes, sir. Um, we saw the major difference last night playing a great Appling team. And with our football players coming back, it, it was just like night and day. You know, like I said, we thank the young guys, and they really filled in for those shoes for that time. But when the football guys came, you can tell it was a whole different team. And we're looking forward to Friday. We got a good game coming up against Long County. They 4-1. and one. They rank right now in the state. And I'm thinking it's going to be a good showing. we right down the road, so it's a rivalry game. So I think the kids will show out. But we're looking forward to that. The Saturday game against Pierce also will be a big game for us. Guys. They got a lot of great talent coming back. That game got moved to Tuesday night. That game got moved to Tuesday night, so we'll start that game. I think the girls was playing at 6 o'clock that night, and we'll be following the um, girls at 7.30. Pierce County on Tuesday instead of Saturday. So we'll be off this Saturday, but we'll have Long County this Friday night. And who are some of the players that are doing well for you? Oh, man, um, we we were so impressed. Like, we, we got a young guy. Um, we got two freshmen, as I said, um, Jaden Tippins, um, then we got um, Jamie, um, Jameson Johnson, um, two freshman kids that came out very strong. Davion Young, Boldenu, he's a sophomore that came out. Um, just to call some of the young guys' name because we're so impressed with them. And we, off the football team, like we got, we came out with Shamar Taylor, Trey Chancey, um, Cameron William, T.J. Ellis. Um, Tommy Wellerspoon is on our ninth grade team. Uh, we just we so impressed with what we got going on this year, and we are so complete. Um, the coaching staff we were talking about it last year. We had a whole lot of great kids last year, but this team here, you know, we, we, we seeing yes, they they different, but we we just really looking forward this season. I think we are we looking real good this season to be as that. Okay, coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> And again, those comments to Coach Ray. Once again, the Saturday game at Pierce has been moved to Tuesday, but the Jackets at Long County this Friday night. We'll check in with the girls' varsity coach, Kayla Hobbs, tomorrow on local sports. The girls are currently ranked number four in Class 5A basketball this year, still undefeated in the early part of the season. Wrestling program also in full swing, only in its second year in existence at Wayne County High School under the direction of Coach Poinsett, who fills us in on the first match of, this, of the year, which was held here in Wayne County. We were excited about the meet last night. Uh, we wrestled Glen High School, Glen County. Uh, we won 54-30. to 30. Uh, New Hampstead High School was supposed to show up, and they didn't show up last night, and we're not sure why. I think they had bus issues getting out of Savannah. But anyway, um, Glen had a young team, and uh, it was the first match that we had in the old Martha Roll Smith Elementary. And, uh, boy, we started out with fireworks. Uh, the kids last year uh, were the first matches up, and... Uh, showed definite improvement. It was exciting to watch them. Our young kids got excited when they saw uh, last year's guys getting after it, so they started getting after it too. It was a really good night last night. Had a lot of people in the stands. Uh, our 15th man, that's what we call them. Uh, we had one side of the stands packed last night, 
uh, just an exciting time. It was a little bit cold in there. We had some issues with heating uh, in the gym, but overall, new facility. Kids are excited about it. Uh, teams are excited uh, about coming in to wrestle there. So overall, good. We're building on we're building on our program. Uh, we expect it to take us about a three to four year uh, time frame, but you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have known that last night. They got after it pretty hard. Only the second year in existence, but I understand the. Uh the numbers are way up. You said you have a lot of kids come out. Absolutely. Uh, we have about 24 kids that have come out at the end of the day in our middle school program. have about four girls that are wrestling, four or five girls. We're sitting at probably somewhere 32 on our varsity right now that we t- took to get hydration testing. So we got 50, uh, 50, 60 kids in the program. I think it's fantastic. That's going to pay dividends down the road. Uh, the kids we have now, the, the problem we're having now, we had it last night, is how many kids can we wrestle at the same weight class? Last year, we were bumping kids around and wrestling them up weight classes just to get them some mat time. Now we had we have four deep in some weight classes, and they, you know, they got to start fighting to get out on the mat. And competition is good. Competition brings out the best in everybody. So that's where we're at. And so far, the matches are at the old Martha Ross Smith Elementary Gym. Is that where they're going to be all year? Absolutely. The old Martha Ross Smith Elementary, the, the kids have called it the hot box. So we will be at the hot box from now on. That's on 710 West Pine Street. And the parking is right behind the new Board of Education building. Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. You bet. Have a good day. And once again, those comments to wrestling coach. Coach points said, Wayne County's got one more appeal to the George High School Association to hopefully move out of the 158 region, which they put us in for the moment. That appeal is going to take place on Wednesday of next week. Uh, Coach Ken Cribb and Dr. McDaniel, the high school principal, will be in attendance to make the appeal. We'll hear from Coach Ken Cribb on the final appeal on tomorrow's sportscast. George High School football season down to the semifinal games this Friday. Closest game is at Richmond Hill as the Wildcats host Alatuna in one game in 6A, while the other semifinal game in 6A is Harrison at Tukula. In 7A, the matchups are Marietta at Parkview, North Gwinnett at Lyons. In 5A, it's Buford at Jones County, Stars Mill at Warner Robins. In 4A, the matchups Blessed Trinity at Woodward Academy, Sandy Creek at Oconee County, Triple A, GAC at Cedar Grove, and Jenkins at Crisp County. Double A football, Brooks at Callaway, Dublin at Thomasville. Single A football in private is Wesleyan and Fellowship Christian, ELCA at Holy Innocence. And in public school, Class A, it'll be Clinch at Irwin and Pelham at Marion County in the championship games the following weekend at the old Atlanta Braves Stadium. Atlanta Braves seen plenty of action this offseason. On Wednesday, signed starter pitching Cole Hamill was to a one-year contract, also signed closer Will Smith, re-signed reliever Chris Martin, signed former race catcher Travis Denard. Hamill was turned 36 this month, had some great years with Philadelphia. Last year with the Cubs, missed a month of the season with an oblique injury. His ERA 117, career ERA 123, looks to be the number two starter in this year's rotation. Cole Hamill is now a member of the Atlanta Braves. NFL football tonight, the Bears and the Cowboys. Jason Garrett on the hot seat in Dallas. If the Cowboys don't make the playoffs, he'll be fired. If they do make the playoffs, he'll still be fired. Just days away from the SEC title game in Atlanta. Dogs and LSU kickoff set for 4 p.m. in Atlanta. We'll have the prediction tomorrow here on local sports. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by your friends at Harris Ace Hardware. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can.